Hello everybody. <laughs> my name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel or my Facebook page wherever this ends up. Well today's topic I was um, I, I, I'm almost exhausted all the um, audio books on nutrition from my library which is kind of funny and so I was listening to a new one um, which is the hipster's guide to macrobiotics which couldn't be further from how I eat I guess but I was getting some really good ideas for um, some future videos and um, so with the changes that um, I have going on that you guys have been on the journey with me with um, I was wondering are you a salmon or are you a minnow? Have you ever been to a little lake or a pond where there's this um, schools of little minnows and one moves one way and like thousands of them they go like this you know and it's absolutely delightful if you're a two-year-old. <laughs> it's like wow look at those fish! Or are you a salmon in the cold waters of Alaska trying to go up stream and um, being crashed down by all the others that um, are just going with the flow. So being a salmon means that you're just taking, not taking a risk, but you're taking, you're taking a suggestion, you're taking the challenge, you're taking, well, I don't know, maybe what your gut is telling you and making some nice changes in your choices in your food plan. And maybe it's not the common norm you know, um, it was funny, um, I came home, I had a very, very, very stressful day yesterday at work, and so I came home at night and um, I, I only was able to read like a couple of Facebook um, bloggy things, not even necessarily on mine, it was on somebody else's, and it was this picture of, um, you know how we do like a gross, when people do the food planning, for the week and they have five bags of this and five bags of that and five containers of this and five cans of that and five apples and five bunches of grapes and all this kind of stuff. Well, what it was, was a Weight Watchers food haul. And the guy said he must have, I think it was a man, and he went to a meeting that wasn't his own that had an ample supply of his Weight Watcher bounty that he wasn't able to, um, get at his own meeting and so he bought like you know it looked like a grocery haul with um, all the different Weight Watcher products <laughs> and I love this in fact I private mess messaged her this one woman went on and she said what are you buying all that crap for how can you even think that you're gonna be healthy you might lose the weight and it's disgusting and look at the chemicals do you ever read a label <laughs> no it wasn't my alter ego <laughs> but it was pretty funny Whoops, I need a sip on that one. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. So, um, I'm waiting for today's edition to upload on the Facebook, my Facebook Pearls of Wisdom page. So, I had a little time right now because I really can't do much of anything except look at my Weight Watcher tracker to see what it is that I'm eating today. Even though I've prepped it, I'll just tweak it because that's what I found to do. So yesterday, um, so anyway, are you salmon? I mean, are you, are you having things that like, you know, if you bring them into the office, people just go, oh, there she goes again, you know, eating, you know, cauliflower at 10 in the morning or something like that, which um, for the most part, most people think I'm kind of wacky now, so they don't, um, they don't even make comments anymore. And, you know, it's interesting because most of the people that I work with now, there's a few of the old guards still left. But most of the people um, weren't there when I weighed more. And so to them, this is what they see. They don't see that there was a process involved, so it is kind of funny. Um, and um, that, you know, that's how it is. Like even a couple of people that have, that have joined um, either of my sites have said, you know, you're skinny, how come you're here? And, and that's funny, it's just the... Um, it's just probably what we do is the human nature thing. It's like that one Weight Watcher meeting that I went to in 2014. I walked in and there was this really tiny woman there. I was like, what, what is she doing here? Duh, I had my own moment. So, 
being a salmon, which of course is the omega-3s of course, but being a salmon means you're willing to to do things different on your food plan that feed you um, nutritious, more bang for your point buck um, and, and make you feel better um, eventually. And I think that um, for a lot of us here, we've been eating the good stuff for so long that um, we haven't gone back to know how we felt every single day. Um, there was this challenge on my, um, on my own site by this woman, and she said, just do this challenge. Instead of having um, a really nutritious breakfast like you've been maybe having with Weight Watchers, which means um, whole organic unalterated foods and um, you know things with no labels and fruits that don't um, require um, you know don't require a gob of um, sugar in order to eat or artificial um, she said go ahead and have your white Cheerios and your glass of um, orange juice and your um, fat-free milk and see First of all, just a little experiment, what you might have eaten before, um, how you feel after, and how long it lasts inside your belly. You know, I'm really, I remember one time, you know Cheryl Teagues, the model, and if some of you are older, you remember that she was definitely a cover girl model with the um, likes of Christy Brinkley on Cosmo a lot before it got a little too trashy. Um, very, very, very pretty um, blonde supermodel, I guess, from that day. And um, I remember somebody was interviewing her, and I will never, ever, ever forget this. And, you know, she's skinny, she's beautiful, she's, um, her skin is gorgeous. You know, there's just nothing, nothing that isn't delicious and delectable about her. And so the interviewer said, and what did you have for breakfast? And she said, well... I had to hit the buffet, so I had eggs benedict, and I had um, I had fresh squeezed orange juice, and I had lots of fruits, and I had um, she went on and on like sausage and bacon and you know the whole magilla, and and I was like wow, you know she says well that's what I do is I fuel up for the day, and um, and it lasts because I'm so busy with all that I have to do that by the time, you know, I, so I can do what I need to do all day long and not think about the food and then get to, you know, a sane meal at the end of the day. And I am finding that, you know, they say eat, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a pauper. And, um, and I do find that when I do fuel up for the day, now I've been having two organic eggs with my um, asparagus and or Brussels sprouts on the side. And um, some of you saw my double yoker picture yesterday. That was pretty exciting. And that organic egg came from Trader Joe's, which is, you know, I figure it's not from a chicken right here on the Cape, but um, I loved it. And, um, and the um, heritage pork bacon bits, um, not bacon bits, but bacon ends, I guess, not real bacon strips, and my fruit in the morning, my berries. I have all my berries in the morning. And, you know, seeing how long that lasts, and um, it does last a good hour longer than any cereal ever lasted me, even the steel grain oats or the um, hot and tasty gluten-free from Bob's Red Mill Grain Company. So, um, you know, I love that idea of like fueling up and not having to eat again for quite a few hours. And when I was having my cereal in the morning, you know, whoop, two hours later, um, I'm ready for my grapes. Whoop, you know, an hour later, I'm ready for my either uh, second breakfast or my first lunch. And whoop, two hours later, I'm ready for my next lunch, as some of you see with my haul of food of what I do for the day. And I'm trying to add more um, high quality nutrient-dense, um, full-fat dairy or nuts um, to go with a meal so I'm not grazing quite as much and it lasts me a little bit longer. And so this is my, um, this is my salmon tail for the week. 
So I've been having my two ounces of cottage cheese and my two ounces of um, full fat yogurt. And I've been doing that, but um, I'm thinking of upping both to like the half a cup and seeing if it lasts me longer. So um, anyway, it's just part about being a salmon and it's just learning how my body works. Um, are you learning how your body works and really answering the call for hunger versus habit and craving and trigger. You know, there's a part of me, I am very Pavlov's dog. I am very, you know, used to certain um, times at work, certain parts of the day where certain things are required, where it's like, oh yeah, this is where I eat before I do this. And um, without giving it a thought, really, and today is probably my busiest day of my week. Um, and it just got exponentially busier with um, the addition of <laughs> getting the food for um, the shelter. And so, um, and revamping the um, process of doing it. And so my head is kind of busy, but I have to take, I have to do me first. I have to take care of me first. And that's what works. Um, for this little salmon is, you know, I still got up today at 2.30 and I put together my lunch. I uploaded my videos um, now to both sites that take a bit. And, um, and so um, after I do that, then, um, and this, um, and then this will take up. I upload this while I'm walking because it's, it's like a 20 minute thing. And um, from taping to movie and then um, I will store it for, for when I, um, when I, um, you know, put it, up. <laughs> oops, brain cramp. Um, so this little salmon, little Sarah salmon, and that's funny because it's my favorite color, has to take care of herself with the wind blowing everywhere. And I have a, um, a eight hour, an eight hour day that, um, I have to, I'm very, very busy, and I'm in places that I can't eat. Oh, horror. And um, and so I will be re-looking at my schedule, even though my schedule of food. Um, so I will be tweaking my um, amounts of these full fat things now that I'm comfy in this position of having them. And they are delightful. And I have to tell you that um, I'm liking it. I'm liking um, not a heavier breakfast, but definitely a, a uh, much more dense, um, packed breakfast that lasts me. And I am one of those, in, in my salmon journey upstream, one of the things I noticed a few months ago before I was embracing the full fat part was that at three o'clock when the hungry horrors hit and I wanted that, um, I don't know, that little something something that would get me to the dinner hour. I would have a um, little baby bell and an orange, and um, the baby bell uh, was is low fat cheese, but um, it it quelled the hunger, and the orange took a while to eat, and so having those two little things make it made a difference at three, so that's when I began to notice that the little bit of fat and the little bit of um, the fresh fruit, you know, just worked. It just worked. And so um, that's how I feel about my breakfast too, having that, um, that my two eggs with either the cheese or then the bacon part um, with the fruits, it, it lasts. There's something about it. And I don't know, I'm not a chemist or a scientist or a nutritionist, but there's something about it that I'm finding works along with the veggies. And, um, and I saw somebody else, Suzanne, had a picture of her um, fried eggs and her, I think she had kale, sauteed kale, and some sort of um, natural bacon for her breakfast that I was like laughing. It's like, well, that could be mine for tomorrow. And so Sarah the salmon is learning that a, um, a really gentle, elegant, take the time breakfast in the morning really sets the pace for the day. And I'm one of those, as you know, I fill my cup, hence getting up early. So the walk, walk balances me out as well. Listening to the things that I do on the podcast when I walk balances me out. 
and um, then when I sit down and I have my my wonderful breakfast, you know, it, and I try to present it nicely. I learned that from my grandmother, you know. Um, I dine in the morning and take the time. And then I will get to work at 7.30. And as you know, I've been up for hours, but I've been filling my cup. I've, so no matter what the wind does to me in the eight-hour day that I have at work, I know that I've had that time for me. And, um, yeah, it's a drain. It's my energy pie, and slowly I'm, you know, giving slices to people, people, places, and things. And um, I begin to, you know, run a little empty, and by the time I leave my job, I am the aluminum pie plate with a few crumbs left on it, licking the crumbs just to <laughs> have the energy to get home and, and do the dinner. But once I hit the house for dinner, it's, ah. Uh, you know, I can, I can chill, I can relax, and again, and um, replenish, just replenish, you know, and let the shoulders come down. I heard that in my um, AA meeting the other day. It took a guy an hour and a half, a year and a half for his shoulders to drop, and I went, oh my goodness, that is so true. When you get tense, do you do this? You know, Danielle, if you're putting on your makeup right now, I've got my shoulders up to my ears. <laughs> so anyway, um, I better close because I need to, one, reheat my coffee, priority, and um, email my peeps and do all the little things that I do before my walk. My lunch is packed. So anyway, um, are you a salmon? Are you going up the stream? Are you a minnow trying to break free from be being a minnow? What are you today? Let me know below. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. My name is Sarah. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.